How are you guys doing, Nigerians? If I might stand up for this thing, because the thing I want to talk about standing. So, <laughs> I saw these pictures and it shocked me, I swear to God. Um, the first guy I'm going to show you is the American president, the current one, who is older than everybody that's in this video, okay? His name is Joe Biden. They call him Sleepy Joe. Because the guy, if he sleeps for his high club. But the most significant thing about this video, I say, the guy knows when to respect authority, okay? He goes to Chatham House, he stand, answer question. Stand, which is the main issue for this video. He stand, answer question. All right? Now, Chatham House, normally in a place where country presidents, they go share their ideas. Peter Obi just came back from Chatham House. Everywhere, they trekked everywhere. Now, the reason I'm making this video is simple. He reached, uh, what's it been named? Uh, Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe. He stand, answer questions, deliberate your ideas. He reached the new Kenya president, H.D. Williams. He stand, answer question. I mean that. Answer question well. Talk your ideas, deliberate and everything. Ladies and gentlemen, he reached Peter Greg, your mocking of Wade, the Wakigo, Obi, Tom. He stood up. He answered questions. Break down ideas. Tell us what you see for Egypt and how I plan to replicate for Nigeria. All right? So if you look these three guys, then stand up, answer questions for Chatham House. All right? Now, <laughs> the man is want to do this video and I say, when he reached the town of Corn, Cassava, and Palabri, Baba Sidan. Baba Sidan, he didn't fear you. He sit down. Now, he not just sit down, he sit down, delegates answers. Maybe put the answer for that. He can't finish. So, why, why are they talking this thing and I say, just look this thing, guys. If you look there, they get one thing in common. It's a maybe sleepy Joe who sleep when he knows the best to sleep. But the idea is sweet. Peter will be correct. H.D. Williams, okay, yeah, correct. When he reached Bala Blue Town, the car, that's to tell you that if you don't vote right in Nigeria, go sit down for the next eight years. Old. Why they talk now and they look at me like, say, oh, how is this significant? You not see him? Are you not seeing it? Everybody stood up to answer questions. He reached Bala Blue Town, he cack. When he even cack, he knows to answer the question. They fear you. Let's wait. When they follow up, let's go by the drag position. I they follow drag. Nigerians should vote for whoever they like from whichever party. Nobody will be allowed to mobilize resources and thugs to intimidate people in any constituency.